Uh, you recently hosted a webinar with the people from both Yahoo and uh, Gmail. What are, you know, the primary takeaways senders should uh, know about the new sender guidelines? Yeah. Well, um, first of all, I think um, don't call it Yahoogle yeah, or Goohoo or anything else anymore. <laughs> I think um, Yahoo made it super clear that it's not really about Google or Yahoo, right? right. It's, it's really much larger than that. And I think actually since their announcement, um, Microsoft has gone on, well, verbal record, let's say, saying that they are actually going to be reinforcing this, having some sender requirements that are at least, um, you know, pretty similar to those, if not exactly the same. So um, think about this from the bigger picture. It's really about creating like a, like a trusted environment for our mutual customers, which is mm -hmm. email recipients. Mailbox providers care about that. And so do senders, right? The goal is really um, to help keep them safe, keep them happy within their inboxes, and to also protect our own brands from becoming a target of abuse, right? Like we're seeing volume of, email, of emails that's increasing year over year. And that's a good thing, right? But there are new attack vectors that come with that constantly. Um, you know, CloudStrike, you know, is unrelated to email necessarily, but a very recent example of how bad things are getting, how critical security is in our world on the internet today. Um, you know, Clea put this into context by kind of saying that, you know, about 95% of the email that Yahoo receives on any given day is like really bad stuff. Phishing, malware, other stuff that they don't even expect. accept into their servers, the stuff that us humans like really honestly don't really think about very often. Um, it's really kind of that that remaining like five percent of the mail that they're accepting into their servers that's kind of either gray or white and they're trying to sort out mm -hmm. which percent you know which which folks within that five percent are actually trusted senders that people want to hear from and which ones are potentially dangerous folks that they need to keep away from their users and honestly AI is just making this you tougher and it's accelerating the volume it's making you know spam much more sophisticated it's easier to fall for phishing attacks at this point and this just makes that task much more challenging for mailbox providers to kind of separate things out especially you know if you've got folks that are falling for phishing attempts um, if they're not marking that as fish then then you know from the mailbox providers view that could actually be seen as positive engagement I'm not sure how their filters work for sure but um, mm -hmm. consider they're, they're looking at engagement right so um, it really is important for us to kind of you know secure our brands I think you know Dan Gavol from from Google put this as like there is no better time to be more secure the more quickly you set up authentication the less likely you're going to be an attractive target for spammers for fishers for these bad actors to take advantage of your domain they'll move on to somebody else's because like it's almost like you know you're you're the faster person running away from the bear <laughs> right so they're gonna get eaten you're not gonna get eaten hopefully right so I think that's that's super helpful but you know really I think what these new sender requirements mean for people is that we need to understand that you know by requiring authentication you On all of the sending domains that we're using for bulk mail, it is just so, so, so much easier for mailbox providers to tell one sender apart from another, even one mail stream within a certain sender's kind of, you know, portfolio. Um, they can tell those apart really easily. And that means that senders who are, you know, are, are really... not doing right by email are getting the deliverability that they deserve now more mm -hmm. than they ever have in the past and I think that means that that you really you, you got to send it right right like no more loopholes no more workarounds it's truly time to kind of embrace the best practices that mailbox providers have really politely been suggesting for probably about a, a decade at this point um, really just focus on you The recipient focus on making sure that they're having a wonderful experience and that you're connecting with them you're building a relationship mm -hmm. as opposed to just trying to, to boost your stats right like these are humans we're sending to right what 